What's going on? What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Derek Casey coming to you live from Dallas, Texas. What's going on? Hey, listen, I just want to come on here and talk to you guys about something serious. Um, really share some things with you. Um, just kind of my journey um, as an entrepreneur in hopes that, you know, it's going to help to enlighten some things for you. Um, because these are some of the things that I struggle with um, as being an entrepreneur. And I want to talk to you guys today on why I decided to stop chasing the hype and start to just stay the course um, in my business. So we're going to let Facebook do its thing, bring some people on. I got to work this morning on a Saturday. But before I get started, I want to put this video out for y'all. So let me, uh, I'm going to break it down and share that with y'all. So hold up real quick. You feel me? All right, cool. So what's going on? What's going on? So, James, what's happening, big dog? What's going on? My man James is on board. What up? So, anyways, man, I'm going to, uh, just for time's sake, I'm going to dive into it. You guys will probably end up seeing this on the replay if you don't hop on live this morning and get this message. So, either way, I'm hoping that you get this message and really think about what I'm talking about in this video. So, um, the reason why I decided to stop chasing the hype and stay the course, all right? I've been in this industry of network marketing for about six, seven years, okay? And what I've noticed over the years when I started to reanalyze like where I started and where I'm at today, I had a similar pattern that happened throughout the years, right? And I always joined businesses based on the hype, you know what I'm saying? Because it's always something new, something fresh. You kind of feel like this is, like, this is it, right? And the funny thing is, is that every company that I've joined over the years, I've always said that many of you out there right now that join these different companies have said the same thing. When you got in your company, this was the one you plant in your flag. This is it. I ain't looking at nothing else. This is the best compensation plan I've ever seen. We didn't said this in every business that we've been in, including myself, right? And I remember, and I remember when I was getting into these businesses, I would get in based on the hype. Everybody's like, oh my God, get in now. You know what I'm saying? Lock your spot, you know, all these different things. And I would just go crazy. I'm like, yeah, boom, I'll just invest my money. Well, what happened is every every company out there has a hype period, right? So when there's something fresh that emerges into the market, right? Some new fresh company that comes in the market, they got this new compensation plan, all of this stuff. It's very easy to go ahead and gravitate to that because it's new, it's fresh, get in at the beginning, all these things. But here's what I learned, guys, and I want y'all to pay attention. It's not what you do during the hype period that matters. It's not what you do during the hype period that matters because everybody going to sign up during the hype period because it's something new, fresh. I mean, there may be a discount for you to get in, all of these different things. There may be a hype. There's going to always be some type of hype period, but it's what you do when the hype dies down. OK, when the hype dies down and I had to learn that the hard way, because when I got into companies and man, I was making money in the beginning, boy, you couldn't tell me nothing. But then when the hype died down and the sign up started to slow up and the money started to slow up and things like that, and we all hit these walls, you know, in our business, then all of a sudden I started becoming discouraged. I was like, man, this ain't working. I started to rethink why I joined the company, all of these different things. And then as soon as something else came about and it looked good, boom, I would dash and I would go to something else. But here's what happened, though. When I decided to do that, guys, and I went into a new business, guess what happened? The exact same thing that happened in my previous company. I went over. I was excited. It was something new. It was something fresh. This is the best company, best compensation plan, hands down, better than everything I've ever been in. And I got in that company, hit that hype period, made some great money, and then boom, hit that wall once again. And then things started to slow down. People started falling out my business. And then I found myself back in the same place that I was in my previous business, right? So there's this story, and I want you guys to go and read this story, okay? Because this right here will open up your mind to stay the course. Through the good, the bad, and the ugly, stay the course. Because you're going to gain so much more when you stay the course. No matter what everybody else do, if everybody quit, whatever the case, stay the course. 
keep plugging away okay there's this this um this story it's a, a old african folk tale or whatever it's called acre of diamonds you can go google search it and i'm just gonna give y'all just a little piece of it i ain't gonna read all of it but let me let me break this down so the acre of diamonds story is a true one it's told of an african farmer who heard tales about other farmers who made millions by discovering diamond mines these tales so excited the farmer that he could hardly wait to sell his farm and go prospecting for diamonds himself. He sold the farm and spent the rest of his life, right, wandering the African continent searching for unsuccessfully for gleaming gems that brought such high prices on the market of the world. Finally, worn out and in a fit of despondency, he threw himself into the river and drowned. Meanwhile, check this out. The man who bought his farm happened to be crossing the small stream on the property one day when suddenly there was a bright flash of blue and red light from the stream bottom. He bent down and picked up a stone. It was a good sized stone. Admiring it, he bought it home and put it in his fireplace mantle as an interesting curiosity. Right. So why am I reading all this story? Okay. So I'm giving y'all this little piece. The, the story goes in. I encourage y'all to read this. this. This brings about a great point. So there was an old farmer that had a farm, right? And on his farm, he was mining for these diamonds. Unsuccessful at finding these diamonds, he heard about other people who were chasing after diamonds, getting millions of dollars and all of these things that it made him leave his farm to go chasing after those diamonds just like those people and and for years he spent the rest of his life to his death chasing after diamonds because he heard that other people were finding these diamonds all throughout the continent of Africa to a point that when he was unsuccessful he ended up diving in the river and killing himself because he was unsuccessful meanwhile somebody comes back and on the very farm that that man left to go chase diamonds was a diamond that was sitting on his farm, right? It was sitting on his farm and he bought the farm, started mining and come to find out the man had left the farm full of diamonds to go chase after these diamonds that people would tell him they were finding out there. And the reason why this is so powerful the reason why this is so powerful is because we spend so much time chasing after people when people say, oh, this don't work, but it's better over here. Oh, yeah, this is that. Oh, you should come here. Lock in your spot. Do all these things. And you start chasing after people. Then all you are doing is you're chasing those diamonds because of something somebody else said. Meanwhile, back at your own farm, you had diamonds all along. And the thing is, is that for myself. I was like, you know what? I want to stop chasing. I want to stop chasing because I'm hitting the same obstacles. I'm hitting the same walls in every business that I went into over the years. And with my company now, I've been with them for a year and a half. And this is the most consistent money that I've ever made in my entire career as a network marketer. Consistent every single month. I'm getting paid and it continues to increase. You know what I'm saying? Because I decided to stay the course. Because even though in my time, and let me explain to y'all, even in my business now, it wasn't always easy because guys, I still work a, a nine to five. I still work a nine to five, right? I still work my nine to five while working my business. So I hit those same obstacles, okay? I hit them same obstacles in my business, but I stayed the course. Why? Because when I got in my business, I had a different mindset. And when I saw what this opportunity did for me personally with my own personal financial situation, helping me reduce taxes, helping my credit score increase, helping me to eliminate debt, like me and my wife are on the verge of being able to purchase a home. I'm like, why would I why would I walk away from something that has helped me and my family tremendously? to go chasing something else to start over all because of the money. Because the one thing is, it's not just about the money. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, yeah, we're here to make money, but the picture is far greater than that, right? So that was the reason I said, you know what? I'm going to stay the course. I've been with my company over a year and a half. 
a year and a half, rocking out through the good, the bad, the ugly, the drama, all of this stuff. I just continued to stay the course. I was like, you know what? I'm staying the course because if I stick here, I'm just going to continue to grow. People come, people go in businesses. It happens everywhere. I don't care what business you go into. It could be the greatest company, the greatest product or service. And there's still going to be people who are going to be unsuccessful. There's still going to be people that come into the business and during the hype stage, they're going to build it up. And then after the hype dies down, it's going to start to crumble. Your business is going to start to crumble. It is all part of it. But once again, it's not what you do during the hype period that's important. It's what you do when the hype dies down. When everybody else and went in their different directions, looking for other opportunities, searching for their diamonds, you know what I'm saying, and all of that stuff, what do you do in those moments? Do you follow in pursuit with those people or do you stay the course? Do you stay the course? And what I found is that I've been more successful by just staying the course. Just staying the course and just continuing to build. Because even when people leave, go different places, I'm not mad because I'm still building. At the end of the day, I am still building every single day. I am still focused on helping people because at the end, like for me, it has helped me tremendously, my family tremendously. I've been able to do so much more because of this opportunity. So just because some people didn't see the value or didn't put in the work or it didn't work out for them or whatever the case, right? And they decided that they wanted to make a shift that's on them. See, the thing is, here's the mindset. Even when people on my team decide that, you know, or whatever company I've been a part of decided they wanted to make a move, I'm never one of those people who will ever say, oh, you crazy and all this stuff. Because at the end of the day, you got to do what's right for you and your family. So if you feel like going out there and jumping into something because it's the new hype and all of this stuff is going to work for you, go for it. I pray for you. I want to see everybody win. But that doesn't mean that I got to stop what I'm doing and what I'm excited about all because you don't see the value or whatever the case. You know what I'm saying? So that's just that's just the case, the case in point. Stop chasing. Stop chasing after everything and not don't be afraid to stand on your own 10 toes. You know what I'm saying? So like this is just one of those deals, guys, where you just got to stay focused because chasing at the people will lead you to more dead ends than just staying put and putting in the work. Because eventually after you put in the work, it starts to come through. I mean, it doesn't matter if it's in network marketing or if it's in a traditional business. Guys, I work in sales. Let me tell you what happened. When I first started my job, money was great. Money was great. You know what I'm saying? You can tell you can tell me nothing. Like we would live like it was beautiful. And then all of a sudden, we hit a wall with the company. Cost started slowing down. I took a major hit in commissions. All of these different things. Now, in that moment, I could have said, "Well, shoot, I need to go get me a new job." And I, I I can't do this. But we fought through the moments. We kept going. And then eventually after them few months had passed, all of a sudden, things started ramping up again. And then I end up hitting like two of my biggest months in commission. I never would have got to that moment if I would have just hit that wall, right? And decided, oh, snap, I'm just going to run and go in and, and get another job. You know what I'm saying? Things like that. It's the same thing in your business. You are going to hit walls. That is to be expected, okay? You're not going to make money all the time. You're going to have those moments where things start to die down. You're going to have those moments in your business where people fall out and go other places, okay? That, that I mean, that is to be expected. You know what I'm saying? That is to be expected. But you got to stay the course. You got to stay the course. Keep pushing yourself. I've seen the most success by just sticking with what I've been doing. Just sticking with it. Straight up. Like, that's just been... Like I'm just I'm being real and you can you don't have to believe me. You can continue to do what you do. That's perfectly fine. But I'm telling you right now, when I stopped chasing after people and based on what they were saying and all of that stuff. And I said, you know what? I'm just going to stay right here. And stay focused and keep building. That's when things started changing for me.
That's when things started changing. So I'm trying to tell y'all, man, is like, read that Acre of Diamonds story. I encourage you to go to Google, type in Acre of Diamonds by Earl Nightingale and read that story. Because that right there is going to like literally like paint this picture in your head that you don't have to continue to keep chasing. That man was on his farm full of diamonds digging and because he wasn't finding things when he wanted to find things and how he wanted to find them, he decided to go and chase after other people that was out there getting diamonds in other places. And he thought that he was going to find his success out there to a point to where he was unsuccessful for years. And then somebody else came in, got on his farm and noticed that it was full of diamonds. It was full of diamonds. So I'm telling you guys, once again, it's not what you do during the hype period that matters. It's when the hype dies down, when your business start to crumble, when people start to leave your business, that's what defines you as an entrepreneur because entrepreneurs find a way to make it work. They find a way, not excuses. They find a way to make it work. They don't blame the company. They don't blame the people that left. They don't do anything. They find a way to make it work and stay the course. Otherwise, you're going to be like that farmer. You're going to be chasing for years and years and years and not getting the things that you want. And meanwhile, somebody else going to come into the very opportunity that you said wasn't working no more. That wasn't paying enough, wasn't paying fast enough and all of these different things. And somebody that wanted more than you going to come into that same opportunity that you left to go chase other opportunities. And they're going to see massive success. Meanwhile, while you out there still chasing. So I just want to come share that with y'all and give y'all this message today. Because like I said, I want to see people win. I don't care what you do. I don't care what business you decide to go into. I don't care where you decide, who you decide to connect with. But whatever you do, stay the course. If you find something that you are excited about that you are passionate about, and you can go and impact lives with that, stay the course because you're always going to have hype period, but there's always going to be a period in your business where things aren't going to go your way. But that is the moment where you dig deep as an entrepreneur and you push through them obstacles and you stay the course and keep going. Stop taking detours. Stop looking for shortcuts. Stop looking for all of those things. You stay the course. I don't care if it's raining and storming. You drive through that thunderstorm because that thunderstorm is going to clear. You keep on pushing until you get to your destination. You keep on pushing. Don't be like me. Don't be like me hopping around based on the hype for years until I finally found the one company that like has really put things in perspective for me and showed me, man, if I just stay the course and push through, you can make things happen. Everything seems impossible until somebody comes along and does it. So I hope this message really hit home for y'all. I really do. I hope this message hits home for you. Some people may receive this message. Some people may reject this message. Whatever you take from it, that's okay. But I'm sharing from my personal experience what happened for me over the years and me chasing after people never yielded me any type of success ever, ever. But when I decided to stay the course, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I've been able to do so much more. Things have been happening so much for my family and it put me in a position to really be able to go out here and help other people. That's like the most exciting thing for me. So I'm here. And I'm not going anywhere. I don't care if you people make millions in two days. Stay in the course. Stay in the course. And I encourage you to do the same in your business. Stay the course. When the hype dies down, fight. Keep fighting. Keep building. And watch what happens to your business. All right?
That being said, it's your boy, Derek Casey, coming to you live from Dallas, Texas. I appreciate y'all getting on here, listening at this message. Once again, go to Google. Go to Google. Type in Acre of Diamonds by Earl Nightingale. Read that story. I'm telling you, it'll shift your whole mindset when you read that story. I promise you that. All right? So that being said, y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day. I got to get to work. I'm going to holler at y'all soon. Peace.